All right, so some changes need to be made. This is not going to work. The alignment plate. Uh, the thickness of the case is too loose so the things can slide out far too easily. I want it to be a tight fit. I'd like it to actually maybe even be squeezing them. Uh, so go all the way down the sketches into case two. Uh, firstly I'm going to delete this 10 and measure out what this is. Four. Okay I'm going to keep that as four to make sure that the that the um, butter knife will will always be able to go all the way down. Um, going to get rid of the finger sticks, and then I'm going to change that 14 to a different number. I'm going to have to measure the stack of things again because I forgot what it was, and I've got 12.77. Oh, so 13 might work. So 13 will probably work. Uh, that's 0 0.23 millimeters in total. Half of that is 0 0.115, which should be a tight fit according to how I, according to this filament. Um, so I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna have that at 13. Um, I'm gonna save this real quick. Yes, replace it. And then I'm gonna print out just the top part just to see if it'll fit. And then I'm going to go and change the finger sticks. Can I move the finger sticks closer to each other? That will that will help. That will help. Okay. I gotta change these here. Um I gotta change these here to be to have more of a hinge and then I'm gonna also get rid of this of the uh, little spring there because that spring there is kind of pointless I mean I could th thin it out to 0.8 and make it longer but it's kinda of pointless to be honest um, so I gotta find the sketch what did I name the sketch Slight hinge support. Stringer hinge, which should say stronger hinge. Keyring hole, keyring. Grippy, just checking. Lid insertion geometry, stringer, stronger hinge. Okay, hang on. Uh, let me check the stronger hinge and see what gets highlighted down the bottom. Okay. Bring that to the line here. Where I want to, I would like, okay. All right. And the, the uh, extrusion will include this section now that I've just added so that there's not a gap in it. And 
I'll put that same thing on this side. Okay. So now that's stronger and there are still two bodies, right? Okay, I'll get rid of the left one and then take the right one to the same point or rather the corresponding point that is the wrong What is this? Oh, I... Okay. So this goes... Two sides. The first one is going to the bottom here. And the second one is going to that point. And I'm going to select what? <sighs> okay, I gotta go back in the sketch to make sure. Where was the sketch? It was this sketch. Nope, that wasn't it. Uh, this whole thing seems to be like this. This gets highlighted, this gets highlighted, this doesn't get highlighted, it just highlights the whole darn thing. Why? I don't know what corner is... Okay, it's that corner. This will go all the way over here. That'll close it. And then this will have to be collinear with this one. And now I'll trim it. Okay, and then this will not be okay. Now, what's wrong with this? <clears throat> What's the warning? Compute failed. Fail to solve. Please try revising dimensions or constraints. Tangent, 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 bunch of tangents. Uh, this red tangent here. Delete that, see what happens. Uh, this is, for some reason, a curve, it looks like. Yeah, there's a curve there. Why is there a curve there? Because there's a curve here for some reason. Uh... Okay. I don't know what happens there.
what am I extruding? What am I extruding here? Where's the extrusion that cut away the? Okay, I see. Now this can't be selected for some reason. So I have to control Z past this sketch because I don't know what I did wrong in it. Now back into this one. And why can I not select this now? It's probably in this corner. Yeah, it's in that corner. Can't extend that, so what I'll do is I will put an arc on this. Why is this computing so slow? That looks like it did it. Yep, okay. And then was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. Now include this and don't include this. There, okay. <laughs> Dumb. Now I could change this one. There. One side, two sides, two here, two here. Now what's this one barking about? Cannot extend extrusion to object. The extrusion profile falls outside the boundary of the selected. Oh, I don't need this one. And I don't need this one either. I shouldn't need this. Okay. So now I've got right finger sticks, left. Now I've got the left and right finger sticks. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a sketch. on this plane here and I'm going to project both of these so now I'm going to put a line coming down and a line coming down except that's on a midpoint so delete the coincident glad I noticed that that was gonna bug me if I didn't a quarter millimeter that's also on a midpoint quarter millimeter and what that will do is now I can cut out whatever I want I just gotta put lines on there that I can cut out so say I want 
two in the left one and a three in the right one. In fact, let me just pretend that I do want that because that makes a bunch of sense for what I would want. So the left one has two. There's the one of the right ones. There's the left one. There's the middle right one. There's a second left one. And there's the right one. Make the make construction lines. Make them equal. That didn't work because I forgot the line on this one and make this one equal. Okay. So now if I bring out the left finger sticks and I cut away these three, then I bring out the right one and I bring out the last sketch and I cut away the middle okay rename this to hinge cutouts all right and then if I bring back the left one and then I try to move this one rotate through here okay cool that's not gonna interfere with the that won't interfere with anything until it's too late so that's what I wanted so that's good and then to make sure that these can fit in each other because right now they're identical in their height press pull Distance negative zero point one. All right, and then take the other one, press pull. Distance of negative zero point one. They should be loose enough now that I should be able to fit them into together. I hope that the I hope that the slicer can interpret this correctly. But this should work. And then the most it should be able to the most it should be able to twist up and down 
should probably maybe only be enough to bring this corner up to the same height as this corner. That's probably the most it should twist and that will still be able to grab most things, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. No, I'm not because I forgot. What was this? Is that its own extrusion? It looks like its own extrusion. I'm just gonna... Warning for this? Why? The face reference is lost. Okay. Missing faces. What? Oh wait, hang on. That's for the left one. Whoa, 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 what? Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, I know what happened. There we go, okay. The left one was visible while I, while the right one was extruding for some reason. Um, so now, I've got this random body here that I'm gonna rename Disregard. And the reason I did that is because there was, I, I believe that the spring here was the only extrusion in its extrusion, but in case, but I didn't want to delete that extrusion in case there was something else important there that like would have screwed something up. Cause I don't, I'm having a hard time keeping track of this by now because this is extrude 66. Right, I've done like probably over a hundred operations by now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. What's the loft for? Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. I guess twenty-three, twenty-four. I'm not gonna count the copy paste. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Oh, I lost track. Well, I didn't even I didn't even start sliding and it's already at 40 operations, so. Let's see, the uh, case two is ever so slightly skinnier. Which is interesting. Um, I'm gonna save the finger sticks now. How many triangles? 3,160. Yes, replace. And the left one. How many triangles in this one? 2,924. Yes, replace. Uh, I could also increase this fillet to a bigger curvature. Ha! Ah! 
Ah, no, I'm not going to change that because all kinds of things went all wonky there. So <laughs> that's permanent now. It's comfortable. It's just I could make it more comfortable, you know. I could even cut through it and then fillet the corners after the cut, but eh. It's funny because in the in the model it's very obvious, but in real life you can barely see this, but it makes a huge huge difference in the comfort there of using it. So And even on the other one, the 0.75 radius one, it made a huge difference. And it's even more subtle, you know? So, anyways, I'm going to stop right here, print these all out, and see how well they work. Okie dokie. There's my hand. Uh, I've got the small segment of the keychain printed, and the new hinge mechanism. And this does not want to misalign. So that's pretty good, I like that. Gonna grab some cashews, see how I can do at grabbing some cashews. Very easy. I squeezed too hard, but it's not misaligned. That's good. Oh wow, that's really easy. That's even easier than than the other than the other version. So this is definitely gonna be the final-ish version of the finger sticks. Um, Although I did make a small minor error that isn't going to show up very easily. But I forgot to include, well, you can see right there there's like a boundary where, where there's like a gap in there. And that doesn't exist on the other side because I forgot in this one to include that little inside bit in the extrusion. So, yeah, but these are easy to use. So that's good. Now I've got the knife and the spoon and the fork going in. And if I hold down the, there's no jiggle. So that's the perfect size. So I'm going to print the whole thing with this. And I did notice another thing, which is this wants to be held down like this. And it gets even worse if I put the finger sticks in it. Right, so I have to change where the key ring hole is, and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to move it to this side over here, and then I'm gonna extend it upwards so that instead of the key ring being just in the middle of this thing, it's actually on the top, right? Like. Essentially, instead of being here, is going to be where the key ring on the other one is. See, on this key ring, this is where this key ring, I'm going to put it where I plan to put it in the next version, which is going to be about here-ish. Right? Hope that'll help. Uh, this is really good. I don't think I'm going to need to um, fuse this plastic filament into the 
into the actual piece here. I can just cut it off and that'll be fine. It's funny how I got it through though because for some reason, well not for some reason, because of the um, support material holding up the different pieces, the dimensional accuracy of the holes was not very good. So I, so what I needed to do was I needed to make it pointy so I could stick it all the way through. Uh, and in order to do that, I just held this filament over the, over my stove until it got soft and then I pulled on it to stretch it some and make it ever so slightly skinnier. And that did the trick. So yeah, I'll cut this off. I will redesign the keyring part to have the hole here up here. And that should actually be the full final thing. So I'm gonna try and do that. And if I, it is looser here, but the reason it's looser here is because the things want to go bend down. But yeah, and then this works just fine with all of the heads, right? It's actually a little weird going into the going into the spoon one, but it works just fine. Where's my There, went to the spoon, and went really easily into the fork. So, yeah. The difficulties with the spoon were because looking through this camera really doesn't help. So, this is nearing completion. I just have one more print, I think, and then I'm done.